everybody. On today's episode of Intel's Garage, we're working on the Mark II again. And this time we're doing the rear suspension. Uh, what's really cool about Mark IIs, they use a McPherson stride in the rear as well. So, let's get to work. As always, make a fix and repeat. Mark twos. You need two tools. Actually, no, I'll throw a third one in there. Uh, two, two, three tools. You need a jack, a, se uh, a 17 millimeter socket, or a crescent wrench. One of the three. Um, so the reason why I'm at, I'm the, I'm the telling you this, because you're gonna need a 17 millimeter to hold this down. And then you can use a crescent wrench here to break it loose and done. That'll take that off from there on the top. Just break them loose. Don't take them off completely. Um, all right, here on these bolts, uh, do both sides first. And like I said, just break them loose. And then on the bottom is where you're going to need the jack. Now down below, so let me get you guys close. Give me a second here. I'll get my tripod all shrunken down for you guys. All right. So down below, there's a 17 back here and the 17 on the inside. So you're gonna need that wrench again to hold that down, and then grab this uh, and break it loose. Repeat, and then put a jack underneath here to keep tension on here so nothing just drops down. You don't want to damage anything if there's anything of importance on your Mark II. Right now on this car, there's really nothing of importance. I don't care, but like I said, I'm always cautious on stuff I do. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get to work. So like I was saying before, get your jack. Put a little bit of tension on it. Don't need a lot, just a little bit. Get your 17 millimeter ratchet. And wrench. Put your wrench on the inside. And then your ratchet on the outside. And been here for a minute. That's broken loose. Don't take it off. Just break it loose so you have the uh, that support for that, and then do, do the top strut now. Like I was stating before, let's see if I can get you guys a good spot here. There you go. Seventeen millimeter wrench and then crescent wrench and then if it don't work it's gonna happen. There we go. 
go. Remember what I was saying, just keep it, keep it there. Don't put it all the way down, okay? Repeat the process on the other side. I soaked this in WD for about a half an hour. So shouldn't give me that much of an issue. You take these off completely because there's another nut on the bottom. That one's coming up pretty easily. We're going to leave that one alone for right now. Repeat the process on the left side. So that's done. So let's see what happens when we take out the bolt underneath. Hmm, we might have to ratchet them, ratchet them off. Slowly. Let's see. It's a little jammed on here. Hoping this will come right out. You get the picture. The bolt's really long, it's not coming out. So usually if that's the case, at the edge right here, I'll try to get like a flathead screwdriver and then tap it out with the, with the hammer. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I just wiggled a little harder than I used to, and then I got it right out. Not bad. So now let's figure out what's up with the stuff on top.
So now that we, the shock actually finally dropped, the rest of it actually fell fell through with it finally. So this is going to drop the shock to the ground. Now remember the order that this went because it's very important to reinstalling the new shocks. So let me show you guys. Here's a washer. It's a cap washer. This goes in like this. In your bushing, this bushing here, this sits inside of it just like that. This one reversed like that. That creates pretty much a solid like hole for it. So set this one in here first. Set this one on top. This one there. Bolt goes through. Then you have a special locking nut here that locks that one first down. And then you have a cap tower and this. That's the order that it goes through. Don't forget it because it's really, really important to um, gain this done right, pretty much. So don't forget that, and that just drops the shock. Which we can't actually take out because the beam has to drop, so I can't show you. But let's get the other side done. And then we'll do it together. So, making sure your ratchets in, I mean your wrenches in there and your ratchets set to lefty, Lucy. Get this sucker broken loose. beam dropped, you saw that, didn't drop very hard, which is very good, and then now we just got to take out the shock from up top, and then same thing, just take that last nut off and that's it, that's how you remove the rear pretty much uh, suspension on this, it's really nice because it's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be like, so that's all taken care of. Uh, next thing is pretty much we're probably gonna hose all this stuff on the inside off clean that all up and look for any problems um, We got new bushings for the rear beam coming up I'm gonna pull the beam out take out the brake lines clean everything off uh, probably paint everything um, Get this stuff a lot more uh, Nice pretty much and then put it back all back together So let's get that upper tr strut off Here's the upper strut nut, like before. It's just gonna drop, you're gonna see that. And that's the suspension gone. All the way down. And there we go. That's the rear strut. Um, it's got a third nut on here. That's what pretty much keeps the spring tension on here. So that's pretty cool. Didn't know that. Learn something new every day. So that's rear suspension removal. Remember the assembly for the rear because you're going to need that when you put it all back together. Remember the order that it took came up uh, came up off on. I'll repeat it again just so you guys can see that. 
because this is a very particular setup. So there's two, one big one, one small one. So the big one goes on top, the small one goes on the bottom, just like that. So what you want to do is put the little one first face down in here. And then put this one on top, just like that. Put the nut, this nut goes here, and then the cap, and then the, new, the other nut on top. That's the order pretty much. Remember that guys. Very, very vital uh, to your success in getting this, this setup done, okay? Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode of Pinchas Garage on rear suspension removal. The next DIY will be removing the rear calipers, rear uh, spindles, and the rear beam as well. Because all this is coming apart so we can get everything put back in and refreshed. Thanks a lot. Peace out. Wait, 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 wait. Before we forget, underneath, <laughs> there's another bushing. Holy crap. There's a third bushing. I mean, second bushing. Um, it goes in like this. It's underneath, and it has one of these other little kajiggers right here, and that goes on on top. And you cram it in, and then rebuild the teepee of to the tower of stuff underneath. Um, just want to give you guys a re uh, heads up on that too, because I just noticed that. So, peace out. Thanks again.